Hi viewers, welcome back. This lecture is about module three on electrical fundamentals. And in this series, we will discuss capacitor in DC circuit. Capacitor consists of two conductors separated by a dielectric. Capacitors store energy in the electric field. Storage means the charge remains after the voltage source is disconnected. In DC circuits, capacitance is only effective when the voltage is switched on and off. But in AC circuits, where the voltage varies continuously, the effect of capacitance is continuous. The capacitance is the measure of charge stored. Components made to provide a specified amount of capacitance are called capacitors or condensers. How charge is stored in the dielectric? Capacitor have two metal plates close together, but separated by an insulator. And when we apply a voltage across them, electrons are removed from one plate and applied to the other plate and each becomes charged. The charge held by the combination may be very large because of the concentration of the electric field between the plates. This represents a basic capacitor. A capacitor concentrates the electric field in the dielectric between the plates and charging continues until potential difference between the plates is equal to the applied voltage. The main effect of a capacitor are charging and discharging. Accumulation of charge results in a buildup of potential difference across the capacitor plates. Closing the switch allows the negative battery terminal to attract positive charge of conductor plate A. Thus, plate A becomes negatively charged. Whereas, the positive terminal attracts free electrons from plate B and plate B becomes positively charged. Charging continues until the capacitor voltage equals the applied voltage. The capacitor discharges when a conducting path is provided across the plates without any applied voltage. The stored charge in the dielectric provides the potential difference. When the positive and negative charges are neutralized, the capacitor is discharged and the voltage across the capacitor is equals to zero. Unit of capacitance. The farad, capital F, is the basic unit of capacitance. One farad of capacitance equals one coulomb of charge stored in the dielectric with one volt applied. Most capacitors have values less than one farad. One microfarad is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 6 farad. One nanofarad is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 9 farad. One picofarad is equals to 10 raised to the power minus 12 farad. Capacitance. If we increase the voltage between the plates, the charge increases. But the ratio of charge to voltage remains the same. This ratio gives the capacitance. So, capacitance of a capacitor C is equals to charge divided by potential factors affecting capacitance. The capacitance increases as the area of overlap increases since a larger plate area provides more room to accommodate the increased charge. Thus, capacitance is proportional to the plate area. Also, the capacitance increases as the distance between the plate decreases since the electric field then becomes more concentrated. Thus, capacitance is inversely proportional to the spacing between the plates. If suppose we keep constant area and distance and we insert a glass between the plates instead of air, the capacitance is multiplied by a factor of approximately 7. Thus, 
capacitance is also proportional to the dielectric constant of the material which is used between the plates. So we have reached to the formula of capacitance. Capacitance is equals to dielectric constant multiplied by plate area which is given as capital A divided by spacing between the plates in meters which is give, given by small d. And electric constant is equals to epsilon r into epsilon naught where epsilon naught is equals to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 for me per meter and epsilon r is the permeability of the material between the plates. Characteristics of capacitor. Dielectric strength is the ability of a dielectric to withstand a potential difference without arcing across the insulator. So the dielectric constant K indicates an insulator's relative permittivity or the ability of an insulator to concentrate electric flux. Its value is the ratio of flux in the insulator compared with the flux in air. In other terms, we can say if C is the value of capacitance of a capacitor filled with a given dielectric and C0 is the capacitance of an identical capacitor in a vacuum, then dielectric constant can be derived as capital K is equals to C divided by C0 which is equals to epsilon R which is equals to epsilon M divided by epsilon 0. Types of capacitor. Capacitors are classified by dielectric. Example, dielectric can be air, mica, paper, plastic film, electrolytic, ceramic. They can be connected to a circuit without regard to polarity except electrolytic capacitors. The polarity of the charging source determines the polarity of the capacitor voltage. Capacitor blocks DC voltages and allows AC signal voltages. Dielectric constant for air or vacuum is 1. For ceramic it is highest varies from 80 to 1200. For glass it is 8. For electrolytic it is 7 to 8. For mica it is from 3 to 8. For oil it is 2 to 5. For paper it is 2 to 6. And for plastic it is 2 to 3. Types of capacitor if you will go further. Mica typically used for small capacitance values of 10 to 5000 picofarad and paper are typically used for medium capacitance values of 0 0.001 to 1 microfarad. Ceramic available in a wide range of values because dielectric constant can be tailored to provide almost any desired value of capacitance. It is often used for temperature compensation. It means to increase or decrease capacitance with a rise in temperature. Film capacitance. These are very temperature stable, frequently used in circuits where this characteristic is a necessity, such as radio frequency oscillator and timer circuits. Then the next type is surface mount. It is also known as chip capacitors. These are having end electrodes shouldered directly to the copper traces of the PCB circuit. Then variable capacitors. Fixed metal plates from the stator movable plates on the shaft form the rotor and the air is the dielectric. Capacitance is varied by rotating the shaft to make the rotor plates mash with the starter plates. Common applications include the tuning capacitor 
in aircraft radio receivers. Electrolytic capacitors have a very thin dielectric film which allows it to obtain a very large capacitor values. Thus, it provides the most capacitance in the smallest space with the least cost. Polarity. Electrolytics are used in circuits that have a combination of DC and AC voltage. The DC voltage maintains the required polarity across the electrolytic capacitor to form the oxide film. If the electrolytic is connected in opposite polarity, the reversed electrolysis forms gas in the capacitor. It becomes hot and may explode. This phenomena only occurs with electrolytic capacitors. Leakage current. A disadvantage of electrolytics is their relatively high leakage current caused by the fact that oxide film is not a perfect insulator. Now we will discuss about the capacitors in series and parallel circuits. So first is parallel capacitances. Connecting capacitances in parallel is equivalent to increasing plate area. So total capacitance is the sum of individual capacitors. So CT is equals to C1 plus C2 plus so on. And we must remember that in parallel voltage is same. So voltage is the same across parallel capacitors. Series capacitors. Connecting capacitances in series is equivalent to increasing the thickness of the dielectric. So total C is less than the smallest individual value. So C equivalent is equals to 1 divided by 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 plus 1 upon C3 and so on. Energy stored in a capacitor in joules is equals to half CV square where Q is electrical charge in coulombs, C is equals to capacitance in farads, V is voltage in volts and E is energy in joules. So we also know that Q is equals to CV so we can rewrite this energy equation as energy is equals to half of QV or it's half of Q square divided by capacitance. Voltage rating of capacitors. The voltage rating of capacitors specifies the maximum potential difference of DC voltage that can be applied without puncturing the dielectric. Thank <laughs> you.